Uh oh, there's a sign. Ah, oh, man, look at that. The Indian sign. Georgia and John found rare bike and motorcycle parts behind a secret wall in her grandfather's shop. And now they're letting us discover them for the first time. I have something special for you, Mike. Up until I discovered these, nobody saw them. The significance of this sign is that it's a motorcycle company that also made bicycles. Oh my gosh. That's a killer sign. Redding Standard Motorcycle Company came out of Redding, Pennsylvania. They were around from 1903 to 1922. That was the year they got bought out by Cleveland Motorcycle Company. What do you got to have for it? I mean, make you an offer? OK, make me an offer. I think they could 2,000 bucks. I think you're heavy. You think I'm heavy? I'll take the 2,000. <laughs> Thank you. This sign is in incredible condition. It's flanged, it's double-sided, it's very colorful, it's extremely rare. What about the Indian tank? What condition is it on the other side? Can we Same. see that? Look at that, man. And that was up there stashed. Yep. That was in the mezzanine. It's Look got decent man. paint on it. Yep. That dude. It's crazy, man. That's nuts. Ah, Henderson. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. Yep. Wow, look at that. <laughs> and it's got the shift gate on it. Look at that, man. Oh this is a Henderson four-cylinder deluxe tank, original paint, ox blood red. I want to see what it looks like in the sun. Both sides still look good. You can still read the decal. For somebody that's got an original paint chassis, this would be an incredible piece. Yeah, that's Indian. The reason these parts still exist is because two guys cared. This would have been for a buddy seat. The first guy that stuck it behind the wall the second guy that's standing right in front of me that put it in this garage 10 years ago. This is motorcycle. I believe that looks like motorcycle. Yeah. It's Indian. Wow. All right. Looks in pretty nice shape. Yeah, it looks like it's original paint. Mm -hmm. Pulling this frame out of the garage and into the daylight, seeing the original paint, it's incredible. This is a Power Plus frame. The more we unveil these items, the better and better it's getting. You're building a bike? Yeah. <laughs> Here, let's see. Uh... Yep. Those look pretty. Yep, there it is. There, there yep. it is, baby. Look at that. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle, you know, like pulling the frame out, pulling the fork out, sticking the tank in the frame. Getting there. Putting a fender with the frame. I guess I ought to dig out the motors. Oh, you got the <laughs> motors? Do you really? It was almost like it's all just waiting there to fall together. That's a nice yeah. start. Yeah, yeah it's a real good start. It really is. That's wow. a Scout. Looks like a 101. The 101 Scout was made from 1928 to 1931 and was the flagship of the Indian line. They're extremely rare bikes and very sought after. It's coming together, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Wow. I tried to put the bikes together, but I didn't really know what I was doing. When Mike put the bike together, I mean, it was a total surprise. I'd pay 3,000 bucks for that. Yeah. And I would pay 4000 for this. He pushes pretty hard. <laughs> and uh, I got a kick out of it. I will keep that one and down the road, maybe. But half a loaf is better than none. <laughs> would you sell the Henderson tank? I will. Well, how much do you want for the Henderson tank? The Henderson Deluxe motorcycle was made from 1922 to 1928, made in Chicago, Illinois. This is an original paint tank with the shift gate on it. This thing might as well be a unicorn. It's that rare. What do you think it's worth? Just tell me and I'll tell you what I think. Two grand. I think it's worth more than two grand. I'd pay 2,500 for it. I'm stepping up to the plate on a lot of these things because I don't want to leave any of it behind. 3,000 on this. I'd be happier with 3300 on that. 3300 on this? Yeah. The fender, yeah. the seat, yeah. the fork? Yeah. I feel All right, like so 3300 on that. OK. OK. okay. All right, we're doing that. <laughs> the great thing about John is that he thought enough to save this stuff. Now, he's not a motorcycle or bicycle expert, but he saw that it could potentially have some value. Ooh, come to Papa. Come to Papa. We did a good job. We were good stewards of your grandpa's stuff. That Thank you for sharing your family's Hard history. Hard to believe. Yeah. Hard to believe. Thanks for letting us you. He'd be happy. He'd be proud of you, kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. It's good. See you, John. See you, Bye. John. Bye. It was a good day. Yeah. It was. Yeah.
It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.